Hey guys, Shubert here again with another video from Terra Online. Today's video is going to be the first of my series, which I like to call A Quest of Anarch. So, in this series, I'm going to be recording everything that my guild, Catch a Predator, Velik EU, does in our quest to Vanarch. The thing that's going to be cool about this series is that I'm going to be covering every single aspect of the political system. So as we know, you can only run for Vanarch if you're a guild leader of a guild, which in my eyes is just fucking shit, because it means that only a small percentage of the game's player base gets to experience everything that this has to offer. And I really hope in the future they find some way to change this, but it's going to be hard to change, to be honest. So if you're not a GM, you're not going to be able to see the decisions that the guild leader slash Vanarch gets to make throughout the sign-up process, or even the things that they get to change when they become Vanarch. So this series is pretty much going to be the thing that shows you everything. I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know about this system. I'm going to be showing you all the user interface elements from the sign-up process to the voting system, all the way down to the quests that you have to do at Vanarch to get the points to enable the NPCs. And most importantly, I'm going to show you everything that you can do when you get Vanarch. So in this first episode, I'm going to be explaining slash showing you all the steps that are required to run for Vanarch. As you can see here on screen, these are the three requirements that you need to meet. Number one, you need to be a guildmaster who is at least level 50. Number two, that guild needs to actually be level three and have at least 20 members. If you don't have a level three guild, then check my guild leveling system video by clicking here. And number three, finally, you need 100 Karthanark awards and 3000 gold. So number one, pretty simple to be honest. Number two, pretty simple. And number three is the kind of hard thing. So if you're in a big guild, 100 tokens, that's nothing. You just get members to do it. Most people will have that by the time they even get to level 50. So you're all good there. But otherwise, if you're in a small guild, just do the BAM quests. It won't take you long at all. Probably take you two, three hours to get 100 marks between like five people. So that's that. 3,000 gold. Yet again, if you're in a big guild, people will probably donate to you. However, I'm in a kind of small guild, so I paid that money myself and now I'm poor as fuck. So, another thing that I want to mention is that there are three stages to this whole system. I'm going to break these down for you. So the first stage is registration, the second is competition, and the third and final stage is reign. As you can see here on screen, each stage only stays active for a certain duration. Registration is open for one week, competition is also open for a week, and then finally, reign lasts for three weeks. After that, the system repeats itself over and over to give new players the opportunity to become Vanok and existing players to run for Vanarch again. So let's go over the registration phase. You have one week to sign up for Vanarch. If you meet all the requirements I talked about earlier, you can head to the Velik console office to put your name down. As you can see here on screen and on the map, this is the NPC that you need to talk to. When you talk to him, this UI element will pop up and this is broken down into two sections. And this also is the first time that your guild leader will have to make some decisions about their campaign. The first thing that you have to do is choose which region you wish to be Vanarch of. So this is split up into three sections and you can only choose one of them. So the first one is Arun, second one is Southern Shara, and finally we have Northern Shara. Once they choose the region that they want, it is then split up into subzones. And I believe there's like five or six for each one. And your GM will now have to choose in which order they want these zones and they have to list five zones. So as you can see, I chose Northern Shara I listed these five zones in order. So when the voting phase happens, if I am first, I get all the votes, I'm top on votes and shit, I get the first pick, I get number one in my list. However, say I become second, and the first person who got Vanark has the same list as me, he's gonna get number one, which means I can't get it. So then the game will give me number two in the list and so on. So the next step is to use this box and enter a little bit about your Vanark campaign. Now this box is shit, <laughs> it's so bad. It gives you 300 characters, okay, which is nothing. You can't really write anything. You've run out of space so fast. But the thing is that this box is bugged as well. And if you try and put in anything over 200 characters, then it won't let you accept to move on to the next stage. So if you want to type in this, make sure you type under 200 characters and click accept. So guys, congratulations. At this point, you are now registered for Vanark and you have to wait until the following week for the voting phase to start. Thanks for watching this episode of A Quest of Anarch. I hope you enjoyed it. The next episode will be up in a couple of days where I'm going to explain the voting system. If you want to help me out with this series and you enjoyed it, then please use a character on EU Velik to vote for me as that will speed up the process and I'll be able to make more content for you guys when I get Vanok. So thanks a lot guys and I'll see you guys soon.